born in Clinton. I was born in Palestine before it was the State of Israel, because I'm older than the State of Israel. Then I grew up in Israel and came to Ireland in 1969. Um, all my life I've been kind of concerned with issues of social justice, particularly since 1967, the um, so-called Six Day War, when I became very involved with justice for Palestine. And this would be perhaps the main cause I'd be working on now. But another kind of main cause is the awareness of racial differences between people. And race is something which is constructed by states in order to give benefits to some people and to take away benefits from others. And I think the issue of Israel-Palestine has not been looked at as a race issue, but I am at the moment writing a book about it. I think it is actually a race issue when Palestinians, who are not a different race biologically, of course, have been constructed as a race apart, peop a people apart, people who are discriminated against, oppressed, occupied, not given their rights. So if I'm, if I'm kind of about um, talking to future activists or activists of today, I would like to make people aware of the existence of racial differences between people. Some things we as white people take for granted, we say, well, we're not racist, but we don't like more immigrants, we don't like uh, the place to be flooded, but there's loads of place in the world for everybody. And like ourselves, who feel that we can go anywhere we feel like, live anywhere we want, we should really not think very much about other people coming to the places we live in, even though there may be different color, different culture, different religion. The world is big enough for all of us, and in fact, there is only one world. It's not as if one world comes to our world. So, Coming back to my work in Palestine, I'd like to say that um, there's one way to try and influence the Israeli government to stop its oppression and occupation of Palestine. And this is the campaign of boycott sanction and uh, boycott divestment and sanction, sanctions, BDS. And I'd like to encourage people to boycott the state of Israel and its oppression via A, not buying Israeli produce, and B, exercising boycott of, say, in the academy and cultural events in order to try and influence the, the um, state of Israel through a non-violent mean of um, this public pressure to understand that the world, we in the world who um, strive for justice and for lack of racial differentiation would like them to understand that we would not stand anymore uh, to their oppression of the Palestinian people. And you know, people say why the Jews They've suffered so much, they've been racialized. Yes, I know, and my people have suffered from the Nazi persecution, the Romanian persecution, they originally are from Romania. But still, at the moment, we are doing the same to other people. And I think me, as a member of the perpetrating community, those who have committed the crimes against the Palestinians, even though I've not done it myself, we should be aware of the fact that justice for Palestine needs to be, to remain in our in our in our consciousness, we need to do something, and every one of them, and every one of us can do something in terms of boycotting Israeli produce and bo boycotting Israeli events and telling the Israeli government through the BDS campaign that we do not like their continuing oppression and occupation of Palestine. I'm not saying that two-state solution, in other words, the Palestinian state side by side by Israel is the solution, but what I'm saying is that Palestinians need recognition, self-determination, and freedom. And it's very simple. Freedom to the Palestinians would be my main message. Thank you. Mm -hmm.